coffee's brewing. <sighs> Let me start at it. Uh, started raining right after I got done painting. I guess it dried. I'll assess the damage here in a bit. But my main goal today is to get the uh, the base. Yeah, lay that caulk seam down. And that got painted, but that's going to be covered with the next layer of polyurethane caulk. Then I'm going to do these corners around the, with the brick meat. I need to get some sand for that. All in all, it's kind of wrapping up. I gotta work Tuesdays. I gotta kind of shift gears and get myself ready for that. But for the most part, the I think the heavy lifting has been pretty much done. I can break the rest of it down into bite-sized chunks. When I get to the patio, that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be a chore. I know it because of the just the amount of chipping and flaking paint and the gutter repairs and some roof work I gotta do. <laughs> but it's not it's not gonna be completely devastating. I think it'll be easy. But I think the next, after I get done with the laying that caulk joint, letting that cure for a few days, then concentrate on cleaning the block. Um, I ordered a, a bit, found one on eBay for like 15 bucks, 12 bucks. Brand new, new and packaged. Some guy didn't just sitting around in his garage. He says, but I just need to drill the weep holes. All I need to do. I mean, I have. I don't have any concrete bits. It needs to be SDS because, well, regular drilling it'll push through it. So, a couple of weep holes, that'll, that'll take care of that. I can get that cleaned, tidy up, touch up a few places, put it back together, move on. Hopefully by next weekend, it'll be done. Um, I can get the stuff off the porch and, well, mm -hmm. the porch furniture needs some attention, but it'll go in place and then we can... We can address that as, as needed, but then I need to clean out my fucking shop. Oh my God. This has turned into a fucking dumpster fire fast. But I had a, uh, I get this paint sprayer an HVLP paint sprayer, you know, the Graco deal, but it it will not handle the the viscosity of the paint that I'm trying to throw. It just will not. I masked off the front of the house. <coughs> Spent an hour masking and getting prepped and <coughs> doing some test sprays and thinned out the primer and then realized it was taking just as long because I didn't want to set up ladders and move around because it's in the mulch bed and landscaping and setting scaffold and all that horse shit. It was easier to do that than fucking spray it. Because the only way this sprayer works is if you're three inches away from it and it's still questionable. So I clean that up. Before it bites me in the ass.
the uh oh, damn it. <laughs> I am not left-handed um yeah I get that little bit done let that cure for a couple days so I can wash the patio the porch I'm gonna mask that off put down the self-leveling for the uh, underneath and behind which I should, probably should have done before I put the trim up but that wasn't on my mind at the time so I'm doing it kind of backwards so I got to do a little bit extra masking so that's what I'll do this morning it's supposed to be nice today or warm not really sunny it's sunny now but <clears throat> uh, it's my nephew's birthday and we're doing a family drive-by so I think that's at 11 hopefully it's later no I think two I don't know. hopefully I can get this to a point where I can just wrap up and be done for the day because I may want to take a day off before I go back to work tomorrow or Tuesday today's Sunday we're off Monday for Memorial Day and then Tuesday night's it. Start work. See how it goes. I mean, there's you know, gotta. Everybody's starting to go back. My son goes back in a week and a half. He goes to work. He's gonna work what he can. Save up some money for college, and then he's already got a place lined up for next semester. Well, for the rest of his, yeah, you know, for the next two years. So I'm gonna be putting that together for him soon. So I'm gonna mask this off, get this prepped and ready. Kind of just take it a little easy today and then I'll check the, see if the paint was affected by the rain. And then I guess tomorrow, probably clean up. Just get everything put back in its home because the major work is done. I have a couple couple things to do up front uh, replace some molding the shoe it's a quarter round but or a half round but a, it's a shoe mold um, replace that make sure there's no more leaks concentrate on the gutters just little bits little bits on it so then <clears throat> next weekend have the porch done then move on to the front of the house, have the front of the house done in a week. You know, a couple hours here and there, one day just scraping and prepping. One little, I mean, they're little sections. They're broken up by windows and block walls, so it's, it's not a lot of work on the front. Um, so, then once I get to the, the uh, east side of the house, that's the biggest face. But it's also where I probably should have started. Um, only because the bushes that are going to be in the way. And when I was around there yesterday, looking at the, the eave, it's totally fucked. It, I mean, we're, we're talking... I, mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do there. Scrape it off, prime it, and go. I get there's not much else I can do. I'm not going to rip it off. That's not an option. <laughs> not like the the porch crown. The porch crown needed to go because of the way it finished onto those beams. The the eave borders, or I don't know what you call those, like a face. Uh, I know there's a term for it. My brain ain't, my brain thinking's ain't working right. But, oh, I got to do the, the little section right above the garage. I want to do the dormer. 
and the little end section there. That's his, th and that'll finish this side of the, you know, the look. And then once I get that done, then move out to the front. That's right. So that should be, it should take a couple days. A couple hours of prep. A little bit of priming. Because I want to, I, I do want to prime over top of the existing because it's, it's sat so long and so deteriorated that I want a, I want a good base. I want to make sure that what I put on is not going to flake off. I want it to stick because what's on it was a latex and I'm putting on acrylic. So I'm putting on a good bonding primer. High build bond bonding primer. So, all right, coffee should be done, maybe 10 minutes, yeah. Coffee should be done, I'm gonna just get them mobilized and get set up and ready. Just a 12, 20, like a 30 foot section. 30 foot section of uh, self-leveling joint caulk and let that cure for a little bit. It says seven days, <clears throat> but I at least wanted to skim over before I put the uh, the caulking in front of it. I got a couple large gaps. Um, I don't need to get a whole batch of backer rod. So what I'm gonna do is I get some foam insulation pieces for like pipe foam or pipe insulation. Let's slice that up, shove it in there. That's my backer rod for the day. Other than that, just gonna get ready, go back to work. All right, fuck off. I got shit to do.